another video and today uh, i'm gonna be showing you how to solo dungeons with uh magu so uh i guess this is probably gonna be time lapse most of the time i'm also making a another video at the same exact time but uh let's get through this and uh first wave you just want to gepo up to beat their uh, little jump and then hold magma eruption when you hit the ground eruption them and if any guys survive you could just m1 them because you know the stats with fishmen allow you to do a ton of m1 damage which is really great next up you just want to want to come up on this rock here for the second wave and all the guys are going to come below you i like to wait for my magma eruption but you can use fist and hound so i just gepo up hold eruption once again and then hit that off that should kill him remember m1 these guys up here because you have mad m1 damage another look at the stats all right, next up, wave three. Uh-oh, don't I'm messing this up. All right, you want to bring them right over here, here. All right. I don't know why I said here twice. Uh. <sighs> oh, my God. <laughs> don't let that happen. Once again, Gepo up and hold eruption. There you go. They should die to burn damage. There you go. All right, wave four. You don't want to let them fall into both columns, so actually come up here, and they should all fall into one column. I'm messing this up here. Alright, one SS gave me a little trouble, but once they're all inside, uh, gepo up a lot, use eruption, and then gepo up once again. I'm key mashing right now. And then you're just going to pretty much want to spam your moves. Uh, the other guy should die to burn, so it's just the... Uh, cupid queen guards left so you just want to spam your moves in there and this should kill them i'm just hitting this last guy with the trident and they're dead easy as that next wave come up on this little thing right here and then come like right here to beat their little jump then you just want to eruption they're gonna hit you with that but just come back up because they're in the little magma stun and then you pretty just pretty much just want to spam on them with your moves here uh, there we go and then usually i come down here and i just swamp them and they're dead uh wave six it's this pretty much the same thing except there's more guys so you don't want to use the swamp method also burn bazookas sometimes spawn so you want to be very aware of that if a burn bazooka spawns also, don't use your eruption. Because if you get caught in one of those combos, you're dead. So just... You're going to want to use Hound and Fist to kill the burn bazooka. And then keep on using that until the burn bazooka's dead. And then once the burn bazooka's dead, you can gepo up. And then use eruption. Wow, that was dangerous. And then continue this process until they're dead. Also, if you like, you could use water pistol. All right, next up we have Leo. So uh, you're gonna want to use this combo, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Magma eruption trident. Oh, he got out of it. All right, you know what? I really have to use that combo, but I just like to use it. I didn't take into account that some of you probably don't have Fishman Karate. So yeah, just you want to hit him until he uses his ultimate. Then you want to dodge his ult and you want to bring him in this corner. Get him in this corner, hit him, magma eruption, and then use your ult. And this should eliminate him. I'm not sure if it will. He might still be alive. You just want to want to M1 him, spam your moves, whatever you got in your uh, kit. And that should kill him pretty quickly. Uh -oh. But yeah, as you can see, he's really low right now. So just I finished him off with two M1s. And now you're on uh, the boss here. So there we are. Here we are. Turn off your hockey, first of all. You want to conserve that. Bring her over here. I just like to use my combo, so I PB her. And then I just 
do my combo. You could damage her however you'd like, but this is what I do. And then once I have her in my combo here, I bring her right here. This is actually a method that I've seen other uh, YouTubers use. You can Magu Swamp her right here, and that does a decent amount of damage. Also, some of her moves might hit you out, so just be aware of that. Alright, since this is my Magu Swamp's on cooldown, I'm gonna use my combo again. Uh oh. Eruption. Trident pull. Water prison. Oh, I messed that up. But we're good here. I'm gonna bring her right here again. She hit me with that. It's okay. Magu swamp her. This is where she's in second phase now. So jump up, hold one of your moves in the air, okay? All right. Once you've dodged all those moves, turn on your hockey, and you're gonna want to do something called caving. So you get her in here, use your Magu eruption, and then use your ultimate. Now, as you can see, this is gonna shred her HP really fast. So you just want to follow this method, and this should kill her. Well, it's not gonna kill her because I don't have enough Magu. I'm using my PVP build right now. Just uh, hold your block until these meteors go out, and then M1 her. Do whatever you want and she should die unless you like really 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 mess it up but she's dead and that's how you easily solo dungeons with magu very very easy i already have kilo <sighs> all right i was hoping to get a good fruit from that but that's the video uh uh if you're watching the how to solo dungeon with magu video that's how you solo dungeons with magu if you're watching the uh, Magu build video or Magu review, whatever you want to call it. That's it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.